vitamin B6, also called pyridoxin. So pyridoxin, um, it is a coenzyme in amino acid metabolism, and it is involved in deanimation, deamination, and transamination. So when you have your amino acids that have that nitrogen group on them, and when you are taking those off or switching them around, um, that's your deamination and your transamination. So that's how pyridoxin is a coenzyme in amino acid metabolism. So that's its big role. Um, so metabolism of amino acids and proteins. Uh, it's in the form of PLP, which is called pyridoxal phosphate. Um, but know that if you increase your intake of protein, then you need to increase your intake of pyridoxine or vitamin B6. Um, why? Because it's helping metabolize that protein, right? You have more protein, you want to have more B6 to help it out. So um, UV light destroys it. Um, another fun fact is actually there are some medications that will cause you to excrete vitamin B6, um, and that is your um, one of the medications was used to treat tuberculosis or TB, and it is isonized medications causes increased increased secretion of B6. INH is the medicine that was used for tuberculosis that if somebody was treated for tuberculosis. Um, they might also have a B6 deficiency. Um, so also interesting about vitamin B6, paradoxin, is that <clears throat> paradoxin is needed by vitamin B12 to help produce red blood cells. So therefore, if you are deficient in vitamin B6, your B12 can't produce red blood cells, and then you have one of your um, deficiencies you see is anemia with B6. Some other things you might see is peripheral neuropathy. I'm talking about nerves and feelings in the nervous system. Um, you might see seizures. And if it's toxic, you also might see neuropathy as well. Uh, sources. So meat, wheat, corn, yeast, pork, cereals, liver, egg, avocado is another one. So just like our P5 or panathenic acid had avocado as a source, um, so does paradoxine. So... Big takeaway, vitamin B6. I think like to think the 6 looks like a P for protein, which makes me think of the transamination and the deamination. Um, and those are kind of my big takeaways. And then, again, remembering that B12 needs it, and it will cause a deficiency, will cause anemia with B6, paradoxing.